Hello everyone and welcome back to this course on Windows 10. In this module we're going to take a look at how to search files and folders to find content. And there are so many different options when it comes to search and we're by no means going to go through all of them, but it is very important for you to at least understand the basics so you can get some idea of what's possible. So we're going to start out by running through basic searching. I'm going to show you your search options. And finally, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about file properties. Now, before we get going with this, I just would like to point out that you can also search using Cortana. Now, this is outside the scope of this course, so I'm not going to cover it. But if you do want to do some further reading on that, then please feel free to do so. So let's start out by doing some basic searching. So currently in File Explorer, I'm clicked on that folder that we created in the previous module, Trekking in Nepal. And you can see in here, I have numerous photos. I don't have a great deal. You might have folders with hundreds and hundreds of files. I've just got a few in here, but there's enough for me to demonstrate to you some basic searches. So the scenario that I'm gonna set up here is that from within this folder, I want to find all of the pictures of mountains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize the search box in order to do that. So just above the photos and to the right of the address bar, you can see you have this little search pane just here. It currently says search trekking in Nepal. If I click in there, I can then type in my search term that I'm looking for. So I'm going to type in the word mountain. And I'm going to hit the enter key or I can click on that arrow in order to execute that search. And you can see straight away it's brought back four search results and all of those file names contain the word mountain. Now, when you do run a search, you'll see that you also get access to a search tools contextual ribbon. So if you look up at the ribbons, you can see here search tools and then we have the search tab just there. And this first group is telling me where I'm actually searching. So because I'm clicked on the trekking in Nepal folder, it's going to search in that folder and all subfolders. I have some other options that I can utilize in here. So if I was looking for the keyword mountain across every single folder on my PC, I would select this PC instead. In the next group along, you have some refine options. So this is really where you can refine your search results, zero in exactly what it is that you're looking for. So I have my search results here and it's just given me four pictures. But if I wanted to refine that even more, I could say, for example, I only want to see photos from last week or maybe last month. I can also refine by type. Now, I only have JPG files in this folder, but if I had different types of files all mixed in there, I could choose to search by type. I can search by size, so tiny, small, medium, large, so on and so forth. Then here we have some other options that you can refine your search results by. So things like date taken, tags, which we're going to talk more about in a moment, uh, type, name, folder path, and also rating. Now, some of these relate to the metadata in the background of the picture. And as I said, I'm going to show you an example of that in a moment. In the options group, you have this recent searches drop down. So this has shown me the last items that I searched for. So if I wanted to, I could rerun an old search. So if I select Kathmandu, it's going to add that keyword in and I can just then run that search. Now I'm going to go back to recent searches and just search for mountain again to get those four files back. I then have some advanced search options. So currently, Windows 10 is looking for my search term, so in this case, mountain, in the file contents. So for photos, that's going to be the name of the photo. But if I also had maybe things like Word documents in here, which contained a lot of text, it will also search those for that specific word mountain. And then finally at the bottom, I have the option to save any of my searches. And you can see here, when I click that button, it defaults to my personal folder on the C drive into a folder called searches. And I can come in here and I can rename this if I want to. So the file name by default is mountain search. And you can see this search file type has automatically been selected. 
So if I wanted to, I can save that search and then I could come back into here just to rerun that again if I wanted to. Now, that can be quite useful, particularly if you have specified a lot of refinements to your search and it's a search that you run fairly frequently. It can be quite nice to save that search so you don't have to go in and reselect all of those properties. Now, something that I touched on already is metadata and tagging. So I want to show you an example of what I mean. I'm going to clear this search out. So I'm going to click on the cross just to remove mountain. And I'm actually going to rerun that search for pictures with Kathmandu in the title. Now, this is interesting. So again, I have four files and you can see three of them have the word Kathmandu in their name. However, this one here is called Nepal Temple. It doesn't have the word Kathmandu in it. So why is my search returning this photograph in the search results? Well, that's due to tagging. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to right click on this picture and I'm going to go down to properties. And properties is going to show you quite a bit of information about whichever file that you're clicked on. So I can see the name and if you wanted to, you could actually rename your file from here. It's telling me it's a JPG file. It opens by default with the Photos app. I can see where that file is actually located. So it's in my pictures, trekking in the Paul folder. I can see the size and I can also see when this was created, modified and last accessed. So quite a bit of information about each file through properties. However, the tab that I'm interested in here is this details tab, because this is where we have essentially our metadata for our files. And there's a lot of information that you can add into any file that you have within File Explorer. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see all of the fields. So I so if you've got a lot of pictures, this can seem like quite a Herculean task to go in and fill in all the information for every single picture. Now, I will say that if these are your pictures that you've downloaded from your camera, a lot of this metadata will already be filled in. So, for example, things like the camera make, the camera model, all of that kind of information will be picked up from your photograph. Now, I don't have a great deal in here because these are pictures I've downloaded for demo purposes from a picture sharing website, which is why a lot of my fields in here are blank. However, one field that we do have is this tags field. And you can see for this picture, the tag is Kathmandu. So that is why when I'm searching for the term Kathmandu, it's pulling back this file, even though it doesn't have Kathmandu in the title, because I've tagged it with Kathmandu in the background. So tagging pictures really helps you when it comes to searching. And if I wanted to, I could come in here and I could add another tag. So I could add something like uh, golden as it is a golden temple. And I could carry on adding as many tags as I liked. So now if I click on OK, if I was to come back up to my search up here, clear out what I have. And if I was to search for golden, you can see that's pulling back just that file. So again, it doesn't have the word golden in the title, but because I've tagged it with golden, it's going to find it. And I'm going to clear out that search. Now, once you've finished running your search, you can see I still have my search tools ribbon open at the top. To come out of this, you just need to click the close search option, and that will pull back all of the original files. Now, just so you can see an example of some more of those search refinements, I'm going to jump across to my Camtasia folder. Now, this is where I store all of my recordings for tutorials like this. And these are a special kind of file related to the recording software with the file extension being .trek. Now, I do have quite a few files in here, which is why it's quite nice to use this folder to show you some refinements. So if I click up in the search box again, I'm going to type in dot trek and hit enter. And it's just going to pull back all of those files with a dot trek file extension. Now, because I do have quite a lot, I might want to refine this search down by again going up to my search tools. And maybe I'm looking for a file that I created last week. So in date modified, I'm going to select last week. And now it's pulling back all of those. Still quite a lot there. 
Now again, maybe I want to refine this even further down. I'm going to select this size drop down and I'm going to look for medium size files so in between 1 and 128 meg. And there we go. It refines my list down even further. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can utilize these search options, how you can refine your search and also the importance of tagging your pictures, which is greatly going to increase how easy it is for you to search and find items and content in your files and folders. That's it for this module. I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. Now, to see the full seven and a half hour Windows 10 course, click over there and click over there to watch all the videos in this Windows 10 playlist.